My winter makeup routine and I hope you guys enjoy it. I did a voiceover and music because a lot of people wanted that. Anyways, before I start, I really wanted to do a quick little haul, really short. I only got two things from Forever 21 because I didn't see anything anywhere else because if I did, they weren't my size because everything was like gone. But these things weren't on sale, but the first thing I already hung everything up, but the first thing I got was this cute, cute gray sweater and it has like this cute lace bow. It's so perfect. Like, oh my goodness, I love this sweater so much. And I think it was like the last one because everybody got it because this was like the last one left and luckily it was my size. So I love it so much and I can't wait to wear it. And this was $22.80. Again, I purchased this all with my own money. So the next thing I got was this um, sweater. It's like a off-white cream top and it, I got it in a size larger than I am because like I like sweaters to be nice and like loose. So it's just this off-white sweater, it's long sleeve and it's like knit. It's really warm and this would look really cute with like like skinny jeans or leggings with like chestnut riding boots or chestnut Uggs. And this was 1980. Anyways, let's just get started with the video. Okay, first for my face, I'm taking the Laurel Mercier Foundation Primer and this is just going to make my face really soft and smooth before I apply any face products. Next, I'm taking the Maybelline Cover Stick, and this is in medium beige, and I'm just putting that under my under eye circles to take away discoloration, darkness, and my puffiness. Puffiness, that's a funny word. And I'm just blending that out with my fingers. Next, I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and putting that on redness and darkness all around my face and blending that in with my fingers softly. Next, I'm taking the Maybelline BB Cream, and I love this stuff so much because it has SPF and protects your skin, and this is really good for taking away redness, and I'm just blending that out with a stiffling brush. My favorite girl. Next, I'm taking the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, and I love this powder so much. It's amazing, and makes your face so matte and doesn't look oily. And that's the finish face. Next for eyes, I'm taking my Urban Decay Primer Potion and just putting that on my eyelids to prep for any eyeshadows because that's what Primer Potion is for, right? Right? Okay. Next I'm taking the Naked 2 palette and I'm taking Booty Call. It's a funny word. Anyways, it's a really shimmery kind of neutral color and I love this color so much and I'm putting that all over my lids. Next, I'm taking number three from my L'Oreal Neutrals Quad, and it's just a nice medium brown. I'm putting that on my crease softly, and then I'm just going to blend it in. And after this, I decided to just do one eye so I didn't waste more time. So I just thought I would let you guys know that. Next, taking number four, which is a dark brown. I'm putting that on my crease and then making it into this kind of cat eye V shape. I don't know what it's called, but I do this sometimes to add some add some, you know, look to it, I guess you can say. So sometimes I do this and sometimes I don't. So now I'm taking Foxy and I'm just putting that under my brow bone and next I'm lining my lash line with the NYC liquid eyeliner and I kind of went thick because I messed up because it's hard for me to do online camera liner. So yeah. So now I'm curling my lashes and taking the Clump Crusher and this mascara is amazing so you guys should go out and buy it right now. So now, yeah, I just, yeah, okay. So now I'm taking the Falsies Mascara, and my trick is, is to get, like, toilet paper or paper towel or whatever, and just kind of coat my lashes with that so I don't make a mess. Next, I'm taking my Falsies Mascara and putting that on my upper lashes to add more volume, because you can never have too much volume. And that's the finished eye look. It's really neutral and really pretty. Next, I'm taking the Maybelline Baby Lips and just putting that on my lips to moisturize them. And next, I put on this Nadia lipstick. It's like a nudish pink color and it's really pretty. And I sometimes wear this, not all the time, just if I'm feeling cool. <laughs> Thanks for watching and Happy New Year's!